Do you always want to have a competitive edge over your enemies? Or maybe you want to get the most FPS out of your game as possible? Well have no fear cause I am here. Many of you guys have been asking for this video. So here it is. In this video I'll be going over my settings including what you should be using to always gain a competitive advantage. So what is our good config? A good config should be focused on giving you as much of a competitive advantage as possible. This could be from FPS, a clearer view of your enemies, or even the placebo effect to help you kill, always kill those pesky enemies. A config is made up of many different things, but the most important things are sensitivity, crosshair, keybinds, and resolution. I already have guides for the sensitivity and crosshair, which will be linked in the description. But I'll go over the last two and give you a few more tips on getting the best config possible. Starting with the most visually outstanding one, which is resolution. Resolutions are often overlooked when people start to play, but it's the single setting that will affect your playstyle a lot in the long run. There are two main categories in resolutions, which are native and stretch res. Native resolution is what your computer runs at normally and shows a really high quality image while stretch res makes your resolution lower on your screen and stretches that to fit your screen. So why would I even use a stretch res? Stretch res provides what we call the placebo effect. When having stretch res, everything including the enemies get stretched. Because of this, your brain will think that killing the enemies is easier, resulting in a boost of kills for most people. There are many stretch resolutions, but the most important ones are 1024 by 768, 1280 by 1080, 1280 by 960, 144 by 1080. These are the most popular ones among the pros and the ones that you will find the most useful. I use a 1080 by 1080, which requires you to put the code on the screen into the launch options. This will also be in the description below. Enough talk about resolutions now, and let's talk about keybinds. People never tend to focus on their keybinds, even though it's the most important part of the config. A keybind should be as close to your fingers as possible, so you don't waste any time trying to find the key for a smoke, as this gives the enemy time to sneak up on you and kill you. Good keybinds should have a bind for each utility you have, to save more crucial time in a very intense situation like a clutch. The binds I use for each util is 4 for smoke, F for flashbang, C for HE, and V for molotov. These mines allow me to quickly take out each grenade whenever I need a line up, minimizing the time from pressing 4 multiple times. But utility binds aren't the most important binds, so let's talk about some other useful but less known binds. A jump through bind will help you get the perfect timings for a jump through, giving you more consistent grenades each time. Put the command on screen in your CSGO console to enable this. An auto buy bind helps you get every weapon you want in a, in a press of a button. This bind can be made from the website in the description. But this is the point many of you have waited for, going over all of my settings. My settings are optimized for a mid-spec speed seat and gets around 200 to 300 FPS which is not bad in my opinion. Be sure to pause the video if you want to copy these settings but the config will also be included in the description. If I said anything in this video that helped you and you want to rank up quickly, please consider liking and subscribing. Good luck and bye.